right guys welcome back cfp here and this is survival living now today we're going to be talking about a subject that we have been talking about for nearly two years on this channel and that is the reversal of our magnetic sphere here on earth earth's magnetic field flipped 42,000 years ago and created a climate disaster the reason why we're doing this video guys is because we want to put a stop to a lot of the misconceptions that are out there about cow farts and things like that and the only way to save the planet is the green new deal let's talk about actual science here and what's happening with our earth what has happened in the past and what is going to happen scientists recently discovered that a reversal in the earth's magnetic field thousands of years ago plunged the earth into a massive em environmental crisis our planet's magnetic field is dynamic and numerous times it has flipped when the magnetic north and south pole swap places in our electronic dependent world, such a reversal could seriously disrupt communication networks. But the impact could be even more serious than that. According to a new study, for the first time, scientists have found evidence that a polar flip could have serious ecological repercussions. Their investigation connects a magnetic field reversal about 42,000 years ago to a climate upheaval on a global scale, which caused extinction and the reshape of man behavior. Earth's magnetosphere, the magnetic barrier surrounding the planet. This originates from the churning of hot molten metal around its iron core. This sloshing liquid flow generates electricity that in turn produce magnetic field lines, which curve around the planet from pole to pole. Like a protective bubble, the magnetic field shields Earth from solar radiation. On the planet's sun-facing side, constant bombardment from solar wind squishes the magnetic field so that the field extends to a distance no more than 10 times Earth radius. However, on the side of the planet facing away from the sun, the field extends much further out into space, forming an enormous tail that reaches beyond our moon. Marking the two spots on Earth where the arching magnetic field lines converge are the magnetic North Pole and South Pole. But while these positions are relatively stable, the poles and the magnetic field itself aren't fixed in place. Once, about every 200,000 to 300,000 years, the field weakens enough to reverse polarity complete. The process can take hundreds or even thousands of years, according to NASA. Magnetic molecules preserved in volcanic deposits and other sediment tell scientists when past reversals happen. Those molecules align with the magnetic field at the time that they were deposited so that they indicate the location of magnetic north pole. Recently, researchers questioned whether a relatively recent and brief polarity reversal called Last Champs Excursion which took place between 41,000 and 42,000 years ago, could be linked to other dramatic changes on Earth from that time, which had not previously been attributed to the activity in the magnetosphere. They suspected that during a time when our protective magnetic field was reversal, and thereby weaker than normal, solar and cosmic radiation exposure could affect the atmosphere enough to impact climate. A new study now suggests a more dramatic phenomenon had occurred. The additional cosmic rays may have depleted ozone concentrations, opening the floodgates for more ultraviolet radiation to enter the atmosphere. Shifting weather patterns may have expanded the ice sheet over North America and even dried out Australia, prompting the extinction of many large mammal species. A solar storm, meanwhile, might have driven ancient humans to seek shelter in caves. As competition for resources grew, our closest extinct human relative, Neanderthals, may have died out. This was 42,000 years ago in this particular incident that we're talking about today. There is reference to and history of people dwelling in caves, so they had to get out of solar radiation. Now, am I recommending everybody to run to the caverns? No, I'm not. Our structures today far surpass what building materials and stuff that were used 
42,000 years ago were more advanced. We also have the ability to create chemical barriers such as sunblock, things like that, to put on our skin. We have more adequate clothing. We have shielding. So I don't believe we actually have to go run to the caverns. Now, if you got a bunker set up for a hundred years worth of food, water, and supplies, hey, you've got it made. But for the average Joe, definitely recommend some sunscreen and sunblock, along with seeds. Now, with solar radiation bombarding Earth, farming will become very difficult, if not impossible, to do. Building greenhouses and running grow lights, on the other hand, is possible. Creating your own energy is also possible to run those lights. So growing your own food is possible. Now you're not going to be able to put it out on a plot of land and the sun just destroy it. This is something that has to be grown indoors. But it is possible. Now with our pole shift besides cosmic radiation bombarding Earth, we have to look at weather. Our weather patterns will change. Our weather patterns are currently changing. And I attribute this mainly to our pole shift and the weakening of our magnetosphere. It is weakening. It weakens more every year. Solar radiation, solar winds, will affect our Earth storms. Basically, sunny Texas is now going to be the new tundra. If the poles flip a certain way, our North Pole and South Pole are going to be completely different areas. They're not going to go exactly the way they were originally. And the more research that you do, you can actually see where the poles have flipped completely. Not just 180 degrees, but they've changed at 45 degree angles. North Pole winds up in Africa. South Pole across the globe. Now, it would be easy for me to come up here and say, we're all going to die. There's just no way of surviving this. But I don't believe that. I believe in enough preparation, mankind will survive something like this. Mankind has done it before, hiding out in caves. No massive logistics on storing, stockpiling preparations. I believe this is an event that can be survived. Will it be difficult? Yes. Survival is never easy. They wouldn't be calling it surviving. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all later. Right fast, guys. I would like to talk about one of our affiliate programs here on the channel. The best way to protect your family is being prepared. Not only is Legacy Premium the best value in food storage, but it is also the best tasting and most nutritious up to a 25 year shelf life and free shipping on all orders legacy food is a go-to for long-term emergency foods not only are we affiliated with legacy food storage we actually use them for our emergency long-term food preps legacy food has the lowest cost per pound voted the best tasting a 25 year shelf life non-gmo gluten-free options and yes it's made here in the USA so guys if you want to help support the channel and support yourself with long-term food storage check out our affiliate links in the description